Okay. Thank you, Robert, for many things. First, your patience. Your stuff has been here for a very, very long time, as you know. So I want to thank you so much. Uh, obviously, the first watch that I finished was your father's watch. There it is, running along. Sure is pretty. Um, I, I know you had said, well, hey, if there's any way we could talk about clear coating the dial surface, um, it was sort of a, a thought that I had at the time, but I was thinking about it after you asked. And I've continued to think about it, even if I said, uh, even though I said I didn't, I wasn't really comfortable trying it because I hadn't tried it before with one of these gold dials. If you keep this, I mean, to do that, I would have to remove all these markers and they're, they're supposed to stay there. They're not supposed to come out. So I have a jig that I set a dial in and that allows me with a, a, a needle point scribe to be able to push these markers out. And then you have to do the same thing with the Seiko in this. And then I would have to clear coat over it. And I honestly don't know how it would look. So it just, it seems risky to me, but the big important thing is oxygen. So, and moisture, this has all new seals. Everything's been cleaned. And I'm assuming you're not going to be, you know, summiting Mount Kilimanjaro with this thing, but, uh, it should be fine. You, you may over the years see an increase in these little flecks as the, as all the crazing in the top of the dial lets some oxygen in, but this thing is sealed. All the oxygen that's in there will eventually react with available metals and other things. And it should be relatively speaking, oxygen free inside. It just something to think about. Okay. I got the other two watches done. This was the next one. This really is a nice watch. This one didn't need pretty much anything except, well, it needed a few things. It had some parts that were bad, um, intermediate or intermediate, uh, um, date wheel it's plastic on these and the wheels were the teeth were squished over um i should have reviewed it had a few it definitely it had a few things that needed doing but it came out beautifully uh the only other thing i can think of this is the original bracelet uh it's got 10 links typically one of these h links is going to have 12 so somebody really shortened this up. I don't know if you need any extra links. I'm not sure that I have any. Um, if you want me to look, I can look. But there it is. Completely original. All of the, all of the, you know, Loom's original, case finish, all that other kind of stuff. It's a nice watch. Now this one was a humdinger. Yikes, this was a lot of work. This was so much work. Because as I told you, and by the way, thank you for saying, for telling me not to worry about product, um, servicing videos in these two, because it really does add to the time. This one had a mix of moisture inside, had a good amount of moisture, a good amount of corrosion, but also somebody had oiled the heck out of it. Like it was filled with oil. So you had water and rust and old lubricants and just an overabundance of oil and everything. Like the mainspring barrel was filled with oil. Um, it was, it was, it was really something. Um, so that, it took a lot of extra time for me to clean that up, to do corrosion remediation, to make sure that the case and all the ceiling surfaces were as they should have been. You'll remember the loom was pretty bad on this dial, which is such a shame because it's because the dial surface itself was great. Um, I was able to save your original dial loom with my revital loom. I lightened it up and cleaned that. It's still toned down a little bit. It's not bright white, but it's good. This is an original handset, good used with original loom to match the dial because your original hands were junk. Um, we tried to save them, but the combination of the moisture, I don't know, the moisture, the heat, the time, the, it, it, it just steamed off the, uh, let me get this. Well, there's some of the rusty parts there. Your, there are your bad operating levers. Here's one of your hands it's just stripped down to the metal. Oh, there's another crystal. Uh-oh. 
Here's the other hand. Here's the intermediary day date uh, and some seals. This is the reduction wheel that had to be replaced. Uh, have we got anything else in here? Oh, and there's a pa bad pallet fork too. Bad pallet fork and uh, bridge, but that's still over there. And I need to put that in here. So, you can see that the, it just, it just steams, the, it just, it just, the plating just vanished. It was really bad. These are, again, this is the operating lever. There's that. This is just, it was gnarly. There was more stuff beyond this, but it was like certain things like the reset levers. And they were, they but they're pinned to the main, um, to the train bridge. So I just cleaned those up and they weren't that bad. These were kind of the worst of it. Anyway, you're going to get all this stuff back and you can see it. Uh, including the pallet fork and uh, pallet fork bridge which is over there. I will finish up and get all that going. Um, I also have your, uh, there over there is also your original, um, original tacky ring bezel for this watch. You're going to get all that stuff back. But anyway, it's a lot of fun. So I guess the only question I have is, do you want me to look for, to see if I have any extra links? I will look, I don't know that I have any, but you tell me. Okay. Thank you again, Robert.